Reaver's Lullaby. Close your eyes and sleep. There are reavers in your dreams. Go to sleep, my darling. There's a reaver underneath your bed. The reavers in your bed are gonna eat your face. Stay in your bed There are Griswolds on the floor The reavers in your bed Are gonna eat your face Sugar and spice and everything nice Why do you think we say that? So the reavers underneath your bed will want to eat your face. You used to have a sister. She wouldn't go to sleep. Shh. So the reavers underneath her bed ate her face. Do not call for your mother. Who is it that you think who let the reavers in to eat your face? Snakes and snails and puppy dog tails. Who can account for the taste of reavers? The reavers in your bed are gone. Eat your face Baby don't you cry Or the reavers won't wait Till you fall asleep Before they eat your face My father sang the song to me Slipped and he fell on a Griswold And the reavers underneath my bed Ate his face That is not a blanket Good night Thanks so much for watching. My name is Mark Gunn, and that was Reaver's Lullaby. It's from my new album, As Long As I'm Flying. It's part of the Firefly Drinking Songs series. You can go to fireflydrinkingsongs.com for more information about that. So we, I've written a lot of Firefly songs, and including I'm working on a new podcast with Mikey Mason, which is In the Verse, Crafting Songs for the Firefly Universe. And we are doing it each and every week. I'll include a link somewhere around here, so keep an eye open for that. Uh, the Irish and Celtic Music Podcast is a show that I put out each and every week. This week it's called Patty Rock Renegade. And that's because I work together with Patty Rock Radio. They also have a podcast. They asked me to, to host an episode. So I get to pick some of my favorite tracks and bands uh, on the Irish and Celtic Music Podcast. And I put them in this week's show. You'll find a link to that somewhere around here as well. So keep an eye open for that. There is also, if you are a musician, sign up and... Go submit music at fourkelts.com and you can get a copy of the Celtic Music, Celtic Musician's Guide to Digital Music. It is absolutely free, so check it out. Finally, I want to uh, invite you to check out my Celtic Sleep playlist over on Spotify. It's uh, something that I listen to when I go to bed at night because my wife's out of town and I'm like, I want something. And so, so it's got a lot of bands and artists that I enjoy and I find soothing to listen to when, when I go to sleep. But it also has a whole bunch of my music, so if you like what you hear, check it out. This song is called The Wit on the Devil. It's, it was written by Mick Ryan. I atop a lonely moor, widow lived alone, and in she kept, and as she slept, her pillow heard a moan. Oh, many's the lonely traveler who spent the night with me, but there's no man in all creation who gives content to me. 
Well, some can manage once or twice and some make three or four. But it seems to me a rarity is the man who can do more. I'd do anything to find him in heaven or in hell. And as she spoke these words, sure, she heard her front door bell. And the wind blew cold and lonely across that widow's moor. She never, ever turned away a traveler from the door. So boldly ran the widow, and the door she opened wide. And as she did, a tall and handsome stranger stepped inside. Well, she gave him bread and brandy, and when that he was fed, he said, my dear, now have no fear, it's time to come to bed. For I heard your plea right down below, and I've come to see things right. But you must come to hell with me if I can last the night. She said, you ran the devil to this bargain, I'll agree. For hell on earth or hell and hell, it's all the same to me. And the wind blew cold and lonely across that widow's moor. She never, ever turned away a traveler from the door. So as they fumbled in the bed, the devil he proved well, and he thought before the night was through that she'd be in his hell. But when they came to number nine, the widow cried out, More! And when the twelfth time came around, the widow cried, Encore! At twenty-five, the devil felt compelled to take a rest. But the widow cried, Come raise your head and put me to the test. At sixty-nine, the widow laughed. Again, again, she cried. The devil said, Well, I can see just how your husband died. And the wind blew cold and lonely across that widow's moor. She never, ever turned away a traveler from the door. At ninety-nine, the devil, he began to wail and weep. He said, I'll give you anything if you'll let me go to sleep. But before the morning light was up, the devil hobbled home. And the widow still not satisfied once more was left alone. She lay there on her pillow and she thought on 99. To pity that poor devil couldn't manage one more time. I'll call him up again tonight to see what can be done. With a little more application we could make it to the ton. And the wind blew cold and lonely across that widow's moor. She never ever turned away a traveler from the door. But when she called to him that night, no devil did appear. For the first time in eternity, the devil he shook with fear. He said, of all the torments I've witnessed here in hell, I never knew what pain was till I rang your front door bell. And the wind looked cold and lonely across that widow's moor. She never, ever turned away a traveler from the door. And the wind looked cold and lonely across that widow's moor. She never, ever turned away a traveler from the door. Yep! Thanks so much for watching. If you want to see some more, I'm going to be playing uh, Coffee with the Kelp Father on Facebook this Wednesday and every Wednesday at noon. So come join me. You can get uh, details by signing up to my mailing list at CelticDownload.com. Talk to you later. Slantia.